The scale of sexual abuse Herod's owner Mohammed El Fayed is accused of inflicting on his female staff over the decades is staggering. These women are among 400 alleged survivors who've come forward. Jen was just 16 when she says the owner of the iconic London department store molested her. Lindsay was 20. 35 years of, um, you know, being silenced and uh, not being verified and also um, having to dig deep to keep it hidden. I was deeply ashamed of what happened to me and I still feel that shame today and I think being able to speak publicly is part of that healing process. Fayad, who became globally famous after his son Dodi was killed in the same car crash as Princess Diana, died last year at the age of 94. He would take my head and he would push it into his genitals. In a BBC documentary broadcast last month, many of the girls and women who worked for his companies over three decades alleged Fayad staff knew what he was doing and helped him avoid prosecution. Industrial scale abuse, abuse that could have only been perpetrated with a system that enabled the abuse to happen. In London, lawyers for survivors said the first of what's expected to be a mountain of legal claims has now been filed against Harrods. Among the recent revelations is that Ronnie Gibbons, the captain of the Fulham women's soccer team, also owned by Al Fayed, was brought by car to his department store when she was 20 years old and sexually assaulted. By speaking out, we are making it harder for this kind of behavior to be tolerated anywhere. Harrods has started its own compensation process for victims, but lawyers say many women don't feel comfortable dealing directly with the store as senior staffers from the Al Fayed era still work there. Chris Brown, CBC News, London.